Hello, Woody people. Happy Sunday. I'm really sorry. I was gonna try and film this last night, but I was much too busy breaking my lamp and having no life. But anyway, this week on Worldwide Videos, we are talking about trips that we would like to go on and kind of our little itinerary for what we would do there. And what surprises me is that I'm the first person talking about leaving the country on their trip. Uh, maybe it's a Canadian thing that we're just not interesting enough so we want to leave, but like, wow, okay. So about three years ago during March break, I was given the amazing opportunity of being able to go to Italy for about 10 days, I think it was. I was able to go to three different cities, Rome, Florence, and then Assisi just for like a day trip, but ever since then, I've definitely wanted to go back. I want to visit the places again, but with my own friends. Because while I knew some of the people that went on the trip with me, they were all older and had their own little cliques and stuff. So since a lot of my friends are like history nerds and just would enjoy art and architecture and food and things like that, I just want to go with them. So that being said, I have planned out three days of cool stuff to do in Rome. And I know that I would have to do a lot more research before I actually went if this trip actually ever happens. I have no idea where we were gonna stay. I just kind of listed places and then briefly looked up if they were like remotely close to one another, pretty much. I think for the first day, it would be mostly like history, architecture-y stuff related if I'm reading this right. I would want us to go to the Pantheon and then the Colosseum, which I think are like 20 minutes apart. Maybe we go down into the catacombs, but I don't know if my friends can handle that because some of them are pretty claustrophobic. But also to the Roman Forum, which is like literally right next door, and then Palatine Hill, which I think is right around there too. The Capitoline Museum, which I can't pronounce the name of properly, which I looked up quickly and is also pretty close, so it's like... We'll group that all together in one day. So for the second day, it would just be like galleries all day, every day, because galleries are fun and awesome. None of us are like classical art majors, really, but we all appreciate aesthetic and stuff, and I'm pretty sure we could all get lost and just be staring at paintings forever if we could. So if I'm reading these right, I think the galleries for the second day would be the Galleria Borghese, the Castle San Angelo, which is like a big castle. Castles are great, so obviously we have to stop there, and then the National Roman museums so staring at art that's fun and then the last day would be a little bit less place heavy it'd be a lot more like wandering around we just go to Vatican City in the morning and that'd be like our only museum-y stop with the Sistine Chapel and the museums there but then we would just basically shop and hang out on the Spanish steps and the Plaza de España, I think that's how you pronounce it and maybe hit up the Trevi Fountain or something so yeah I think those are some fun things to do. I, I have no idea if you could even fit all of this into the same day, to be perfectly honest. I need to look up stuff about like the transit system, and I know you can't really bike because it's dangerous. I don't know. More research is necessary, but I just kind of picked out the places that I recognized from my own trip, and just stuff that looked cool. Because Italy is great. However, I think that no matter where I go, if I'm like out of the country hanging out with my friends and exploring stuff, that's that's pretty much all I want. Even in general, I'm not drawn to like a particular place in the world super duper strongly. Like I wanna go to a whole bunch of different places, but as long as I'm chilling and having fun, I think I will just feel like the trip is worth it. So yeah, I think that's about it for me this week, Woody people, but let me know down in the comments below if there's anywhere you would like to travel and what kind of stuff you'd like to do there. If you'd like to keep up to date with all things Worldwide Videos, feel free to give us a like on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, and now Instagram, which is pretty, pretty cool. I hope you have a lovely week, goodie people, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye! <laughs> will Madeline ever post a video on time? Is she actually wearing pants when she films? And how many more innocent lamps must suffer at the hands of her carelessness? Find out on next week's episode of How to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs>